get focused in our purpose on the Lord. Sister Shelley, when we finally figure out that we God's chosen people and we don't take that relationship for granted, God's going to use His people. Amen. I, I, I thank God for this church. I, I thank God for uh, me and Sister Jennifer many times talks about this church. You know, when we're when we have a, a moment by ourselves on the back porch or wherever it may be, if kids are gone or asleep or whatever, and you know, a lot of times I walk in guilty and shame because I, I feel like I don't pastor y'all. I know we come to church and, and we have church and, and God moves in this place. And and uh, Sister Kid, I can say this. I've told Jennifer many times, I said if if our church members were weak, I don't want or a lot to do. I don't want I would have the time to go minister. I said, I thank God for God giving us people that are strong. Yes. Amen. I don't have to worry about my worry about the people of this. I want to say my sheep, but y'all don't belong to me. Y'all belong to him. But the ones that I oversee, I don't have to wonder about you being a wondering sheep. Amen. Wondering off doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. Right. I thank the Lord, Sister Carrie, that y'all want a foundation. Amen. Amen. Solid. And that your mind is in the right direction, that you want to be a witness, Sister Shelley. Yes. You want your light yes. to shine. You, your yes. purpose, you want to be able to witness, amen, and, and see the goodness of the Lord. So I, I want to say thank you to y'all for behaving. I don't want no other word of using, but I don't have a big vocabulary, but. I thank God for this youth, amen, that um, amen. I don't worry about them having to flirt with boys and everything else, that they've got their mind, amen, amen. where it amen. needs to be, and I, uh, uh, God's just been so good, yes, so good to us, yes. amen, yes. he knows what we handle, he knows what we need, but if you're in your Bibles today, let's just see what the Lord does in this place, amen, it says in Psalms 24, verse 1, it says, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Yes. For he hath found it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Look at that question. Or who shall stand in the holy place? Look at the other question. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. And who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor sworn, amen, deceitfully. Lord God, I just ask you right now, Jesus, in this place, Lord. Lord, we just, today is a thankful day, of Lord of God, of you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God, I just, words will not begin to explain, Lord Jesus, God, what you are to me and what you are to this congregation, Lord God, your people, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to honor you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want to magnify you. We want to represent you, Lord God, with the best of our ability. Lord, we just love you, Jesus. We just love you, Lord Jesus. We just love you, Lord God. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, for they is smell like you, Jesus. Lord, they is smell like you, Lord God. They is smell like you, Jesus. Lord, I just praise you, Jesus. Lord God, I just praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Anoint it today. Bring the increase today, Jesus. Oh, bring increase today, Lord God. Oh, don't let it fall on fallow ground, Lord God. Oh, Jesus, I pray God give me increase today. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. How many of us, church, want to see God's increase? Yes. Hallelujah, not our increase. Yes. Amen, Sister Jennifer taught a good lesson today. Amen, about the foolish. Amen, want to expand their kingdom. Amen, I'm not here wanting to expand my kingdom. Amen. But I want to see the Lord's kingdom increase. Oh, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. Whoa, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God. Hallelujah, you can be seated if you can. Oh, hallelujah, God is so good. Oh, we love Psalms 23. If Psalms 23 uh, fill us to, to our cup, amen. Amen, it gives us confidence to know that the Lord, amen, has got our back, amen. But I, 
I want to share something with you. And uh, if you just go to the very first chapter of Psalms with me. I, and sometimes it's good to, to go back and read the word over and over and over and it, uh, it helps our soul. But you know, when we at the end of the day, y'all, we have to look at this and understand that we cannot by any means hinder God's work. Right. Sister Kelly, at all times, I know that we're a human being and sometimes we're going to get in the flesh. Sometimes we get up. If you want to call it on the wrong side of the bed, sometimes <laughs> it seems like to, yeah, tomorrow may not be as good as day is today. Amen. Right. And we don't know what the future holds, but amen, but we know who holds the future. Amen. 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 If we'll always keep that concept, amen, to not, amen, to bring reproach against the Lord. But I, I, I want to share this with you, amen, to, to so you, you get something out of this service today, amen, get something out of the Word. But it said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel, amen, of the un, ungodly, amen. I, I want y'all to see this, amen, nor stand in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth, amen, in the seat of the scornful, amen. Blessed is the man that walked not in the counsel of the ungodly, amen, I I want y'all to really let that first verse soak into your spirit today, amen. Because I want us to be a blessed people. I want to see, amen, God's people lifted up. Sister Karen in a place, amen, that we begin to speak this word, Sister Bowen, amen, and this word, amen, come alive. I, I, I believe that that's, uh, it's time due for that, amen. But it said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doeth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree, amen, planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit, amen, in season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Everybody see that, church. Amen. amen. But you cannot hinder. You cannot score, church. Amen. You cannot get in the way of God moving, amen. We've got to be able to look, amen, at God's people. We've got to look at the stranger. We've got to look at this world, amen, as an opportunity, amen, for the God's kingdom to grow, amen. And I believe that with all my heart is something is wrong. I, I, I want to I share something with you. It says the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Amen. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. Yes. Amen. For it says, For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Right. Amen. Yeah. I, I, I want to share something with you today. Amen. About what we done last night. Amen. And I, I got to thinking about our floats in the last few years that we've done things. Amen. And we bring them. Amen. The best of our ability about Jesus. And, 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 and we try our best. Amen. To represent Him. Amen. And I, I think of, of, of things that we've done in, in the past. Amen. And I was wondering sometimes. I, I was talking to Sister Jennifer about our float this morning. And I, I didn't feel bad about it. I know that a lot of times we dress up as the, uh, the kings and, and we uh, bring a manger scene down the street. Uh, but Sister Shelley, we live in a day and age. And I know that we in America, but people already know Sister Bowling about Jesus. They may not accept it. They may not live about it. But one thing I had my window down last night. Amen. When we slipped through the back way of Wilson Street to get on Main Street. Amen. And over there, and, I, and I'll mention the church, I got nothing against what they were doing. But at the First Baptist Church, they was all lined up on the, on the doorsteps. And they were singing hymnals. I mean, singing Christmas carols. Amen. And I'm here to tell you that it sounded beautiful. Amen. It was soft. Sister Bowling, it was eloquent. Amen. But I, I'm here to say some things to you today to get you in a place of, of understanding. Amen. The world, amen, expects that to happen. The world, amen, 
expects uh, the church to be soft and sovereign. Amen. The world suspects, uh, suspects, excuse me, us to be kind and loving and giving. Amen. But I'm here to tell you right now, Paul said this. I became a son. Amen. That I might win a son. I want you to get a hold of this message today. Amen. I'm glad of where I'm at in the Lord. I understand. Amen. Of what his word says. That I'm supposed to be a trumpet. Amen. My voice is supposed to be a trumpet. Amen. Amen. I'm supposed to know something. Amen. That they're not really expecting it supposed to happen. Amen. The only way that you're going to win these people, church, is to get out there in the months where they act. I think about the church in the New Testament, the way they back your Jesus. Amen. When he got out in the middle of the publicans and the sinners, and let's get a little bit if we want to get it right, amen, around the prostitutes, amen, because Jesus, that's where it was happening. That's the people, Sister Bowen, that needed Jesus. They needed his word. They needed his love. I want y'all to get a hold of this. Amen. And get a hold of it real close and hard today. I'm going to go back to the word, but I've got to get this off my chest. Amen. That you can see this. The Pharisees sit back. Even John's disciples sit back. Amen. And watch Jesus and his disciples work. And they begin to argue. He said, why? Why is it, amen, that they get to eat with their hands dirty? What of our laws is that we're supposed to wash? Amen. And Jesus said this. It ain't going to do no good if you eat with dirty hands or if you eat with clean hands. If the inside of you, amen, ain't cleaned up. If the inside of you ain't what it's supposed to be. Amen. I'm telling you right now, church. Amen. I took a couple of them ladies last night. And I was playing with them when I had that big old bass because they'd say, hey, big pen. And when I knew that they would take and, and call out who I was supposed to be, I stopped a minute and I acted like crazy and played that bass in front of them. Amen. Amen. Because I want them to understand, not to fear me. Amen. But when the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes, I want them in this place that they can get this word. I don't want to be a stumbling block for them, church. Because, see, my roots has already been planted by a river of water. Come on, church. No matter what the world does, my leaves ain't going to wither. Come on. Come on. Come on. No matter what storm comes, my trunk ain't going to break. Come on, somebody. You got to get in this thing with me. Amen. And like somebody stumble, church. I refuse to be stone face, Sister Bowling, amen, for they look and say, my God, it's that hard-nosed preacher again. Amen, if you don't look and dress like him, you ain't going to make it in. If you don't believe it just like he does, you ain't going to make it in. Well, I'm here to tell you today, church, if they ain't got Jesus, they ain't going to make it. That's how you won't make it. But see, let me tell you what the Word says so you get back with it. Well, you can get a hold of this if you read it. I know I'm not that great a, a, a reader, amen. But, I, but I, let me go back right here real quick so that you get an eye opener. A lot of people don't believe this, but it says, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in judgment. Sister Bowen, I don't know what that gives to people. But Sister Haley, the ungodly won't even be judged on Judgment Day. Right. They not even going to get a chance to plead their case. Amen, that's Come right. That's right. Think about what I just said. Right. Right. In the court system today, a convicted murderer is judged. Exactly, and the state will provide him a lawyer. Right. Come on. And burn up tax dollar, amen, to try to convince you to let him free. Right. Come on. But the Bible tells me the ungodly's not going to get that chance. Come on. Right. I'm telling you, you better raise your hands today and thank the Lord. Amen. amen. Then one day we're going to stand, Sister Bowling, in front of a judge. 
My God, a just judge in front of judgment, amen, in front of a throne, a white throne judgment. My God, and we're going to get to plead our case. My God, before him because we have lived, amen, for him. We have stood where we're supposed to stood, amen. But now, let's get back to chapter 24 that you can get a hold of this, this message today. Because some of the questions was who shall it Ascend, amen, into the hills of the Lord. Or shall, who shall stand, amen, in the holy place today. Amen. When we look a little bit further, it says he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteous from the God of his salvation now. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, amen. But now as we begin to look at 7, 8, 9, and 10, Amen, there's the question, and there's an answer right behind the question. If you really want to get in the place uh, where you and I need to be today, I got you a gold nugget. Uh, believe it or not, if you'll just come on and go with me, amen. It says this, lift up your head, O yes. you gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Amen. amen. Who is the King of glory? is being answered. The Lord is strong and mighty. The Lord is mighty in battle. Amen. You won't never know this church if you don't begin to open up. If you don't raise your hands. Amen. If you don't get up. Amen. And begin to open your doors. Amen. And begin to praise Him. My God, that this King of glory can come in. You ain't never going to know the questions that's being asked here. My Jesus, your tree ain't never gonna be planted, amen, by some water. My God, that where your leaves won't never uh, wilt. Hallelujah. Let me give you a definition real quick. Don't get too far ahead of me. The word who means this, what or which person or people used to introduce a clause giving further information about a person or people previously mentioned. Who? Who is this God of Israel? Ain't that what the Pharisees said? Who is this Jesus? Who, who is he? John the Baptist, who are you talking about? One coming mighty. Yes. You remember what John the Baptist said about Jesus? Yes. Behold, the Lamb of God. Yes. Behold. That's the one I'm talking about right yeah, there. Yeah, My God, in the name yeah, of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know if you can get this or not, and it may be a little far-fetched for you, or you may not be deep enough in it. Amen. Sister Crystal, when you begin to talk to that young lady about the speaking in tongues and the gift, I don't know if you understand this or not, but that's what you was being a John the Baptist. Behold, the Lamb of God. That's the difference. You can get baptized with John's baptism. But see, there's one coming mighty. This is going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. See, she was asking that. Where is this Jesus at? Amen. Where is this Holy Ghost at? And all you were saying is behold. You know, John, I saw he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. He led to the disciples and said, Follow him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Think about what I just said. Follow him. Yes. Don't follow me. Follow him. My God, in the name of Jesus. And it said, Lift up your heads. Oh, you gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory, church. I, I don't know what, amen, that you're looking for today. Amen. You know, David asked the question, excuse me, in verse 3. And it's a question that we should ask ourselves. Amen. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? Amen. 
and even his daughters, that none of them were worshipers. Come on. They never desired. Daddy, when you go in, I won't go in with you. Right. I mean, Absalom slam come up against David. Wanted to kill him. Think about what I'm telling you, church. David was in a class all of his own. Amen. I want y'all to see this and, and get a hold of it. My God, without this secret, where would you and I be right now? Come on. Without this secret, how would how would we make it today, church? Come on. It, it says this in that verse 14 to 25. It says the secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him. Yes. Let me give you the word of fear, what it means. There's many fears out there, amen. But this fear he's talking about is this is not thinking of being tortured, but the fear of displeasing, amen, of this one. Yes. Amen. Who is? Amen. It's what the definition is. Respect. Right. And this is the secret of them with the, that fear of Him. Amen. I look at the Lord. Amen. And I fear, amen, disrespecting him, Sister Christa. I fear, amen, displeasing him. Yes. I fear not doing yes. enough. Come I fear on. not praying enough. Amen. I fear not fasting enough. I fear not reading that word enough. Because now that I'm worried that he's going to take, I'm worried that I'm displeasing, church. Right. That I'm not running fast true. enough. That I'm yes. not caught my second win. Amen. That I need another shot of B12. And I really not a shot of B12. Right. I need another oh. shot of the Holy Ghost. I need some more anointing. I yes. want to run after him. Sister Karen, I want to run until I catch him. And I know that one day I'll yes. catch him when he calls me home, yes. my God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. But that fear of him is in this secret place. And the Bible says this, and he will show them, my God, his covenant, this agreement between us and the Lord. I just, I need y'all to see this today. Amen. There's a secret if people wants to go there. And we're such a blessed people, Sister yes. Crystal, that he has opened himself up yes, to can. you and I, I and have revealed. I don't walk on oh. broken eggshells in front oh. of the Lord. I don't walk on broken glass. Amen. But why? Because I'm not worried about him taking my life. I've understood he's in control. Yes. Come on. Amen. The Bible said it wasn't it Satan that brought the death angel to Egypt. And the Bible said that he held the key, Sister Bowen, of death and of hell. Satan don't hold that. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords hold that today, church. I, I want y'all to, to grasp but I'm talking about this secret today. And this secret can't come unless we begin to lift up our hands. It's what David's saying in 24. And you're going to know that it's a promise. Because he says, And the king of glory shall come in. He not said it but once. He said it twice. And he didn't say it twice. He said it three times. Amen. Right. That he's going to come. He'll come to them. Amen. That's open themselves up. Amen. And in this place that they're at today, church. Amen. And the question for you and I today, are we willing to stand in that place? Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. And understand what value of this relationship is. Right. Come on. of the covenant, the agreement between Jesus and his people. This, we're mature enough to, I can say this. Sister Kelly, if we always count our shortcomings, we would never come to church. Right. That's the truth. That's the truth. Is that true, Sister Kelly? We just throw in the towel and quit. Yes, come on. The truth. Is that right? Come on. And, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go one more step with this. Come on. If the Lord were to take you and set you aside and begin to show you all your wrong, 
you might want to be like that fella uh, O. Robinson and commit suicide. What's his name? Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Because sometimes we think, whew, because God uses us, we must be in the perfect week. We got no blemishes. But Sister Candy feels the ever to come up and show. Think about what I'm telling you. But that's why he's so merciful. That's why he holds that covenant. And sometimes we get foolish, Sister Carrie, and we we'll say, God, give me all you got. And we can't stand all he's got. Right. We can't hold all he's got. Come on, man. It melt us down. Come on. If the Lord right now was to show up in this place full, 100%, I believe our flesh <laughs> would melt off our bones. His glory is so bright and so powerful. Yeah, I believe that. I mean, we couldn't stand it. I believe that too. I believe that. And I believe that's when the angel of the Lord would show up, the angel of the Lord. Now, remember that, what I just said. And it would make the men and the women fall on their faces in shame, in respect. Put them in fear because of the presence of the Almighty. But the secret to know who He is, what He is, Remember what I read to you in Psalms 1. Blessed are they that don't hinder. Amen. They don't get in the way. But Sister Crystal stands as a tree planted by the waters. Amen. You want to know why I'm in joy? You want to know why I've got salvation? Do you want to know why I can weather a storm? Do you really want to know? Because my roots is planted Amen. by a river. I got a little Think about what I'm telling you today, church. We serve a God that's awesome. Yes, we do. couple of Sundays ago when Sister Haley and Sister Jennifer, uh, Jessica was up here and the Lord was all over them. Come on. That's another time you can say behold. Yes. The Lamb of God is moving. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. That's how John saw it. Yes. Church, that's the way we ought to see it. Yes. Behold. Oh my God. Take note. This is he that we preach about. Come on. This is He, my God, that we worship. Hallelujah, mighty God, let's just stand. I don't know about y'all, but I can't sit in the corner. <laughs> Sister Bowling and sing soft Christmas, Christmas hymns. I'm excited about Jesus. I've opened my gate that the King of Glory can come in. He's revealed the secret of who He is to me. Amen. Sister Kelly, I can't be. Come on. My God, conservative when I mention that name. Come on. You can't hold that back. You can't contain it. When Jesus said that I am, me and my Father is one. Yeah, have you not known me this? My God, have you not known me all this time that I've been with you? Have you not recognized? Oh, hallelujah, mighty God. And I think about that one comment, and I want y'all to listen to me. Think about the one comment Jesus said to all them that was mad when they all picked up the, the rocks. He said, "What? which one of my good works are you going to stone me for? Come on. Sister Shelley, sometimes things don't go like a plan. And 
And sometimes we get a little evil with the Lord. And we just like that crowd that picks up the rock. But what good work are we going to stone Jesus for when he revealed himself? Give us that secret. Sister Karen bonded that covenant between you and him when you went down there and you washed your sins away and you come up a new creature. When you received the gift of the Holy Ghost, that covenant was sealed. Royal, royalty. I'll follow you, Lord. I'll follow you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Sing that song, Sister Jesus.